If you enjoy brilliant white sand, aquamarine ocean water, and that laid-back beach lifestyle, it's time to book a trip to the Florida Keys. The Keys are a chain of islands, large and small, accessed by a true feat of American engineering, the Overseas Highway US-1. While Key West is probably the first locale to spring to mind, there are a ton of smaller and equally, if not more, gorgeous islands to explore. Keep watching for the best things to do in the Florida Keys. Duval Street, Key West one of the best things about traveling is the chance to wander around a new town or city. And one of the best places to do this in the Florida Keys is Key West Duval Street. This one and a quarter mile stretch, which includes the famed Mallory Square, is packed with cafes and restaurants, museums, art galleries, and souvenir, craft, and clothing boutiques. There are also historically exciting tourist sites like the former Strand Theater and St. Paul's Episcopal Church to admire. Check the calendar to see if there are any festivals during your visit too. Overseas Highway US-1, Florida Keys The road trip is an iconic American tradition, and few highways in the country rival the views seen from Florida's Overseas Highway. It was built in the 1930s to connect the Florida Keys Islands with the rest of the state, replacing an extensive railway line destroyed in a hurricane. This daring feat of engineering boasts 113 miles of roadway and 42 bridges extending over the azure waters and bright white sands of the tropical Keys. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in the Florida Keys, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Bahia Honda State Park, Big Pine Key if you're looking for a remote island getaway, you'll find it at Bahia Honda State Park. This idyllic location is one of the most southernmost parks in the Florida Keys. Reach it by driving to the west end of the famed Seven Mile Bridge. There are empty swimming beaches, pristine, warm water, and all manner of rare wildlife. If you really want to get out into the wilderness, pack a tent and plan to stay at one of the many oceanfront campsites. Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters Key West Marine architecture buffs will enjoy a visit to the Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters, an iconic structure built in 1848. Though the lighthouse and quarters were officially retired in 1969, the now open to the public structures have been renovated to showcase how the lighthouse functioned in the 1900s. Visitors can tour the buildings to admire the historically accurate furniture and exhibits that detail the lighthouse's history. Challenge yourself on the almost 100 steps you need to tackle to reach the lighthouse. John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park, Key Largo If anywhere in the USA were home to the country's first underwater park, it would be the Florida Keys. And indeed, that's exactly what the John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park is. This place is a scuba diver's paradise, with abundant coral reefs, a wide array of marine wildlife, and even old shipwrecks to explore. If you don't dive, you have two options, don a mask and snorkel, or charter a glass-bottom boat. There are also beaches, walking trails, and picnic spots to enjoy on land. Harry S. Truman Little White House, Key West Though most well-known as the 1940s Winter White House for President Truman, this majestic building has a fascinating military history. In 1890, it was used as the naval headquarters for the Spanish-American War and later served as a World War I and II base. Today, the building is fitted out as a museum dedicated to the life of President Truman and his Cold War successors. Those botanically inclined will be thrilled to visit the institution's beautifully curated gardens. Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge, Key Largo Wild crocodile populations have been declining in the Florida Keys for decades. Passionate ecologists created the Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge in 1980 to help address this issue. The park includes numerous important habits, from hardwood and mangrove forests to briny salt marshes. It's home to rare local creatures like crocodiles, the Shaw's Swallowtail Butterfly, and the Key Largo Wood Rat. The park isn't open to the general public. You'll need to volunteer if you want to visit this incredible ecological wonder. Dry Tortugas National Park, Key West Except for several small islands, this unique archipelago is almost entirely covered by the ocean and can only be accessed by boat. The expansive 19th century Fort Jefferson sits on one of these few pieces of dry land. Underwater, divers and snorkelers can explore coral reefs, plains of seagrass, an ancient moat wall, and numerous shipwrecks. Mel Fisher Maritime Museum, Key West do you love diving deep into research about the underwater world? Then be sure to include a trip to the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum. This museum is dedicated to the undersea archaeology of the region. It has a wide variety of artifacts and relics from the Florida Keys' ancient and more recent inhabitants. Explore the permanent collections, go on a behind-the-scenes tour, book your kid into an educational program, or peruse souvenirs in the gift shop. Turtle Hospital Marathon 
Everyone wants to experience a turtle up close, but with today's rapidly declining wildlife population, it's essential to do it sustainably. And there's no better place to give back with your tourist dollar than at the Turtle Hospital in Marathon. As soon as someone reports an injured turtle, experts at the Turtle Hospital head out in their ambulance boat to collect the turtle, bringing it back to the center for rehabilitation. Visitors can only view the turtles, no physical interaction is allowed to protect these precious wild animals. Dagny Johnson Key Largo Hammock Botanical State Park, Key Largo Another preserve well worth a day trip is the Dagny Johnson Key Largo Hammock Botanical State Park, which serves to protect one of America's last remaining West Indian tropical hardwood hammocks. This incredible tract is home to over 80 species of rare local plants and animals and boasts wheelchair-friendly nature trails. You can take a self-guided tour of the park, read the informative signs along the way, or book a range-led tour. Keep your eyes peeled for sightings of the endangered American crocodile. Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum, Key West Ernest Hemingway is one of America's most famous authors, and if you visit the Keys, you'll get the opportunity to explore his home. Today, the building is decked out as it looked when the renowned writer lived there. Did you know Hemingway was an enthusiastic collector of 17th and 18th century Spanish furniture? The house is surrounded by incredible gardens, one of the major attractions, and is also home to the descendants of Hemingway's original polydactyl pet cats. Florida Keys Overseas Heritage Trail One of the highlights of a trip to the Keys is getting the opportunity to walk, bike, or even skate the Florida Keys Overseas Heritage Trail. The views of the azure blue ocean the Keys are famous for are unrivaled. Several fishing bridges dot the trail, perfect for dropping a line in the water to catch your dinner. You can also access other attractions like the Everglades, Biscayne, and Crocodile Lakes National Parks from the trail. You can even camp along the route. Florida Keys Eco Discovery Center, Key West are you passionate about marine conservation and want to learn more? Head to the Florida Keys Eco Discovery Center. This educational space is excellent for keeping kids occupied. It boasts interactive exhibitions, artificial reefs filled with coral and tropical fish, and one of the world's only underwater research laboratories. If you want to support the center, you can buy some unique souvenirs at the gift shop. Best of all, entry and parking are free. Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory, Key West this place is like something out of a Disney movie. This glass-enclosed sanctuary and educational center is home to almost 60 butterfly species and over 20 rare bird species. You'll learn how butterflies move from the caterpillar stage to spreading their multicolored wings. Stop by the butterfly gallery and gift shop to view and buy unique butterfly-themed artwork. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in the Florida Keys? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.